What's up, y'all? Blade from Ready Clips here, bringing you the next war recap against Leopard Zero Four. Um, uh, we, we had a pretty great war here, matched up against several uh, Town Hall Tens. So, with nothing but Town Hall Nines, we were able to two star all of those. Uh, so, that was good. Yeah, and then we three start all the nines and all the eights. Uh, I do want to mention that since this update, you know, prior to the update, you know, we we have had perfect wars before, and we've we've done very well. But um, it had been a long time since we had a perfect war, and now post update, we had a perfect war last war, and then this war where we you know perfect on everything except for the town hall ten. So, um. My opinion, this is definitely evidence of this update totally skewing the balance um, far more than it, than it already was for uh, any town hall level below ten. So it is what it is. Um, you know, we still uh, you know got to keep uh, just keep playing and staying competitive and always uh, getting better and doing better. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just get right into a couple of these replays. I'm um, just going to show a few different things here. One of the things that was interesting now is with this change in the addition of the spell donation, these uh, max attacks. We did max attack Gohos pretty much, um, I, mean, I mean, almost every single attack, honestly. Or Town Hall 9. Uh, you know, these bases were all very compact, you know, just kind of lend themselves to being hogged in one way or another. And with the uh, yeah, with that spell domination, I mean, it's just it's just way too much. <laughs> and so we were, yeah, so we were quaking walls down all over the place and crushing it. So um, Rip Rage comes in here on this one, gets done, quakes open, you know, decent decent amount of the base there, and yeah, you know, just enters in with his columns from the right and starts with a surgical hog deployment. Almost it was almost kind of like a two finger drop or so. New, um, from the left and you know still has three heels left to uh, keep these hogs up as they work through the base and um, yeah I mean to me that's crazy but I mean it's simple the raid was done in two minutes they added 30 seconds to the attack timer um, but honestly I mean I've hardly seen us even use the timer because the addition of the spell donation is already way too OP so uh, the 30 seconds is just, it's just ridiculous, honestly. Uh, sorry if I sound disappointed or upset, but I, I am pretty bummed that uh, it seems like this game's just going to be easy unless I get to Town Hall 10, which looks like it's months away. But whatever. Um, I'll hope that they're going to fix it, and I'll hope that it can get ch more challenging. Uh, not, not that it's... Not that it's too easy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not this incredible guy who's going out and three starring everything I see. But um, I, I don't know. I, I definitely was looking forward to having several months of playing Town Hall Nine with a good challenge ahead of me, and struggling against different Town Hall Nine bases. And now I feel like it's going to be able to be mastered a lot quicker than I was originally anticipating. Uh, but who knows? So, anyway, sorry, Rage. Showed your attack. It was nice. <laughs> Uh, but I just griped about game changes the whole time. So, uh, anyways, again, here we are, another another max attack, Goho. Uh, this one by Beastos. Um, in this one, I wanted to show. I always show this because I harp on our guys all the time for their CC kills. You know, this dragon and the loon is so common. Oh, you know what? This wasn't even really the one that I was thinking of. Still good. I mean, puts on a couple archers, you know, right underneath the CC troops. So they bother those while the wizards kill and the queen kills behind. I might not even be showing the one I was I was thinking of that had the really perfect barb feed, but... <clears throat> um, yeah, so Golem's in, you know, quick to open, a, again, a good portion of the base. I mean, he... And honestly, we're not even quaking that giant like a of a portion of these bases. And 
I mean, usually I would think that the reason that works so well is when you're opening up like half the base or something. Um, but I mean, just even opening up maybe a third, we'll call this just uh, really gives your kill squad a lot of room to go around. I mean, you got golems and golemites walking around doing a whole bunch of tanking. Uh, the golem up top, you know, tanking for that queen, she's just going to go around and destroy. And, you know, I mean, by the end of it, the kill squad does is responsible for taking out more than half of the base. Um, but yeah, and then the three, having three heals left, that's just ridiculous. Double Giant Bomb gets catches a couple of hogs up there. But he's still got tons of hogs left. And uh, a heal spell to drop right there on everything that is surviving still. And, you know, plenty plenty of troops left for cleanup. Queen lives throughout the whole raid. Yeah, just a really nice attack. Uh, yeah, you know, so... <laughs> Honestly, all these attacks are very similar, being the uh, max attacks. Oops, battery's low. Oops, no big deal. We'll finish up before that goes away. Uh, then I'm going to show Athena here. Come on. All right. So, uh, let's see. So he's got a cold-blooded here. Yeah, I'm going to lure that CC. Bring it down here to that camp down in the corner. And, uh, you know, and this is one of the other <laughs> options out of the spell donation. Is, you know, he uses one poison on the CC troops. And saves one to use on the skeletons as they're chasing hogs around and giving them trouble. But, I mean, this works great here. Doesn't lose a single wizard. Um, so that's nice. And now we're just going to start with uh, Golem and some wall breakers to... Oh, and a healer. Yeah, that was one of the nice things on this this raid. You know, it was kind of a nice touch to keep his Golem up. You know, a little extra time as brings that healer with her with it. So, plenty of wizards to funnel. Uh, wall breaks open, then, you know, hero's down. King's going to work his way inside. You know, wizard's already kind of going to shoot the queen down right there. King, I think, gets the last hit on her to kill her. Uh, but she goes in, kind of wrecks that big compartment up there. Um, since it was cold-blooded, you know, he's still got a really nice amount of hogs left. Puts down that giant to do a little tanking for some of the point defense right there. Uh, ends up getting sprung, so it doesn't get out, you know, get as much out of it as you sometimes want for that type of thing. But no big deal. So he's got some skeleton traps popped here. You know, has his first heal down. He's got four heals to just heal up these groups of hogs as they work through the base, which is, um, you know, uh, it's a ton. So, a lot to, gives him a lot to work with there. So by now, I think, yeah, no, so I think there still might be one more skeleton trap left to pop. But yeah, third heal down there. You know, loses a couple hogs to some springs, but still has a really nice big pack left. And drops down that final heal, puts down that poison early. You know, the skeleton's gonna trace chase hogs right through there, sit in that poison, and they're gonna be dead in no time. So, uh, you know, just again another another thing with this spell donation is, you know, skeletons can always really trouble your hogs. So now you have one to use on the CC kill and one to save for use against skeletons later. And um, so that's nice. So Athena with a really nice hit there and uh, use of, of the uh, donated spell in that way. I'm pretty much just going to show you a couple. Uh, part, that's part of the reason I'm going to show a lot of these raids is just to show you different things that people were doing with this new spell donation because it, you know, definitely one of the biggest changes in the game as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so next... This was a cool attack by I3 Star. Brings in a reverse holo here. And he's got, you know, two poisons with him as well. And he's got a neat <laughs> neat way of using these here, which is for Town Hall 8, probably uh, you'll probably see it a lot. Uh, but he's gonna go ahead and stack the poisons right on top of those CC troops. Oh no, I'm sorry. He he actually 
it, one of the things that's interesting about this raid is, you know, you, the whole thing takes about, you know, two minutes and 20 seconds. And he takes forever. He spends a lot of time on the CC kill because he does the poisons one after another. <laughs> um, what you also see a lot of is people stacking the poison. So both poisons down at the same time. It ramps up a lot quicker to kill the CC troops a lot quicker. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's definitely the quicker way to go about it. But, you know, it didn't matter. Uh, I three-star strategy here was... Um, awesome, and he just absolutely crushes the base so quickly. If he even, as if he even needed the extra thirty seconds of time, I mean, he just, you know, just crushes, crushes it unbelievably fast. So there you go. I mean, pretty much all the air defenses are down, so time to just deploy the loons. He's got a CC full of the black loons up there, and uh, you know, just sends in a couple on each of these point defenses. You know, they're not all being tanked or anything. But it doesn't really matter. He's got tons of them. And with all the air defenses down, they all just uh, fall apart really quickly. And we saw that Tesla pop there on the left hand side. You know, he brought, you know, dropped that heel on those, on that group, just to sort of keep them up a little bit. But, you know, again, I mean, it's, it's over. Got all these loons bunched up. And even with them bunched up, I mean, he was able to bring so much cleanup. I mean, look how many wizards he had to use for cleanup. Uh, you know, he doesn't have to expend any wizards on the CC kill, uh, doing what he did. And it's just, uh, you know, so much left in the end that I mean, his loons hardly did anything as far as cleanup goes because he had a just a great cleanup group left. Um, or, okay. Now, I'm going to show another one of his. Oh, wait, let me, let me make sure this is the right one that I'm thinking of. Um, just to show, show what the, uh, this was a nice attack too. Just a straight hog attack. And I think he does sort of the poison stacking on this one. Yeah, so he goes ahead and he's able to pop, you know, pre-trigger two giant bombs. Yeah, so he stacks the poison on this one. You know, which means, you know, they are going to ramp up to start doing that damage a lot faster. So, you know, as... You know, two poison stacked on top of each other just destroys this dragon here. And, you know, that's crazy. A level 2 and a level 4. That, that's just nuts to me. So he doesn't have to use any... Um, you know, he's got barbarians and an archer and some wizards. So he could have done the easy, you know, pull it to the side, not even use a poison on it. But, you know, why not? So just takes those out really quick. And then it's just straight up hogs, like, all the way around the outside. Um, you know, he's already got two of those giant bombs pre-triggered. This was obviously a cleanup attack. And, you know, he has three heal spells. Um, didn't even need them, really. Or, I mean, he needed, you know, he probably needed one or two, but... I mean, he just has this gigantic pack of hogs at the end because... Uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, hardly any... Hard, they have hardly been touched. I mean, they're all, like, grouped up on this town hall. But, I mean, look how quickly they're destroying the town hall, the highest HP building there is. I mean, that's just a testament to how many there are left running around. Then all of the all the wizards, barbarians, and the archers that he took to, you know, could have been used on the CC kill. You know, he's just got those left all over the place to uh, do cleanup. So, two really nice raids, I three-star. Really like that. Good work, man. All right, lastly, the Professor. So, the uh, this is the max attack for Town Hall 8 with the Hogs. You know, again, getting that extra spell donation, allowing him to do this and take two heals. Just ridiculous. So, yeah. So, I mean, he's going to go ahead and go still with the traditional CC kill here, which show this because this is beautiful. Two barbarians down to distract that, puts his wizards down, then just drops barbarians right underneath of that dragon and that loon. Now, you know, with the poison options now after the CC do or after the um, spell donation, you've got lots of options to kill the CC troops, and I mean they they barely matter at all. But uh, you know, if you're gonna do the max attack where you're not gonna be taking poisons on the raid, I mean that is a textbook example of how you need to be taking out that CC. 
And I am always getting on guys for not doing the greatest job of that. So every every time I see one um, in a nice attack that I can put up on here, I do it because that's just one thing that needs to be done. And, and I mean, look at that. You know, it opens up a ton of the base. Columns walk right through the double giant bomb set. And this raid is totally over. Nothing left to hurt these hawks significantly. And he's still got two heals anyways. So... Pretty much deploys them all there on that left-hand side of the base. I mean, has hardly even lost a hog yet. There he loses a couple of some springs, drops his first heal spell down. Um, you know, a bunch of skeletons chasing him around. I mean, that's really the biggest problem with the entire raid that's going to, you know, mean, you know, the, the heals were somewhat useful. But, I mean, just tons of hogs left. And this is a lower-level base, too. And the defenses are not very high. Um... And yeah, it's it's dead. Totally done for. Huge pack of hogs. Just doing cleanup. Has a swag uh, wall breaker. I don't know if he even deploys it, but he should have if he didn't. Yeah, so I guess he must, he must just hold on to that wall breaker for next time, which, okay. Yep. So, nice hit, Prof. Uh, great job, everyone. Great job, Red Clips, getting uh, you know the you know perfect war against the nines and below, um, and getting those two stars on all those tens. So, really great work, Mister Raid. That's no good, but whatever. I you know personally, <coughs> excuse me. Personally, I sucked in this war. I ended up being really busy, way busier than I thought. So I kind of got in like in the last, you know, six hours. <laughs> I think I logged in to the war for the first time with six hours remaining. And it looked exactly how it does now, except for this number four had not yet been three-starred. Um, I, I might be a little bit off on the on the timeline of when that actually was, but for sure, like when I first logged in, uh, <laughs> you know, the only base, I mean, there was only one Town Hall 9 that wasn't three-starred, and I'm a very low-level Town Hall 9, so there was no chance I was going to get it. So I just did some practice raids, um, you know, expecting that the max attack is going to become uh, huge with the spell donation. Uh, I kind of, you know, specifically <laughs> spent all my time uh, doing no-lure attacks, because I know with, well, I, I assume that with uh, good base builders that they might still keep those CCs somewhat centered and difficult to lure who knows could be wrong the base building meta could completely change and nobody will even care about the cc they will leave them empty because why the hell not too easy to kill now anyways but um <laughs> but whatever uh so anyways yeah again great war hope you guys enjoy this video uh, until next time peace